Hey y'all, it's Pan here with Mason Lance Designs. And today, um, instead of a tutorial on the tools or, or the different things that I've been doing, I'm gonna try to show you the way I have my um, toolbar set up. Because it's different than how it comes installed. And I learned how to do this watching Rebecca's um, videos. And so I'm gonna see if I can't um, tell y'all what I've done without being too terribly confusing. And if you notice, um, there's some differences. The one on the left is the light version that I've made, you know, no changes to. And then the right one is the full version that I use all the time where I've, you know, set it up how I want it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the light version. Okay, up at the top here, you'll have the, the tile up at the top, okay? And sometimes when you're loading a brand new planner, it kind of loads in slow and pixelated. And it will the first time you, you know, uh, click on each page. But there's two things you can do um, to, make it, to make it go quicker and not be so pixelated. So when you click on the title here, you go to the bottom and it says uh, PDF, PDF caching. So you want to turn that one on. And that's one of the things that will help it. Um, and I believe the PDF uh, page filing is, or page tilling as well. Okay, so that's half of, you know, what you do to take care of that. And then the other way is, and we go to interface and see where it says the fourth one down. It says tile drawing. That's the one that um, you want to click on to be sure that, you know, that will help, you know, all the pixelation as you load it and stuff. Okay. The next thing, if you want to change your tools, you uh, click on the gear icon at the top and then you click on user. I'm sorry, you click on workspaces and then here and you scroll down to where it says user interface. And this is where, see the number of the tool bug the number of tool buttons it says the top bar see right now I have none but if I scroll it all the way to number six then I can have all six up there and you'll be able to see that in just a minute and then here um, you have different things that you can um, turn on and turn off if you don't use like the sound I don't I don't use so I mean I don't need to have that there that's just one thing to kind of clean up the space um, and the document properties right here, that'll take off that whole like title at the top. So the only thing you'll have up there would be um, your tools. However, you might want to, before you turn that off, to make sure you have those a uh, couple of things I showed you, you know, fixed. And one more thing on there. Whoops. Let me go in. I'm sorry, this is a mess, y'all. This is the light version. I hadn't really cleaned up. But when you click on it, um, it says has cover so if you want like um, you see how my planner here has a cover to it and you want that to show you know when you look at all of your um, planners and stuff you have to have you have to click on has cover because if you don't then it'll just show whatever page you ended up on last is what will show so we're done uh, messing with that one so we'll go ahead and Uh, turn it off user interface so I'll go ahead and turn that off because I don't need it okay so I have six buttons up at the top now and then the next thing we're gonna change is well let me go show you this might be easier I know it takes a second longer to keep loading and unloading but you see at the very top here how I have six tools okay and the next thing I'm gonna show you is um, over here to the side at the top I mean whoops I'm trying to see if I can get the there we go this page up here okay that's the way you click from page to page instead of scrolling and at first that was really frustrating to me because I just I couldn't get used to it but once I did this this next thing I'm fixing to show you it just it made a second nature okay because you've got the first squares that you know you click on the page to go back and then you've got the thumbnail view you know when you click on that one and then the page to go forward okay so 
it's kind of covering part of the planner and I, I don't really like that. So the next thing we're going to go back out, go to the toolbar and um, interface. And it gets really confusing. I know when you're constantly going in and out of these tool, you're like, what tool is what? It can get really overwhelming. So just take take your time to learn and don't get too you know, frustrated because it's easy to. Okay. Where is it at? Ah, down here, right uh, under the red dot, you see page bar vertical. And that's going to take that and it's going to put it off to the side. And so now when I open it, it's just, I, I leave it there. That way, whenever I need to change a page, I just, I reach up there and I just turn it. It's become second nature and, and I really like it because I went over into Good Notes to grab something and I went to try to find my little page bar thing and I'm like, wait, I have to scroll. So, um, that was one of the things that I really liked. Okay, this little hand you see at the bottom, right here, you can, you know, kind of clean up your interface more if you, uh, especially if you have an Apple Pencil and won't need to uh, worry about using palm rejection or any of the, of the things like that. So you want to go to the bottom and click on Palm Pad. And that will turn that off so that hand is no longer there okay so there's that one okay so next would be the color changing okay let's look at this one for a second okay so you've got the main toolbar position here and you've got top screen or bottom screen and then left side or right side that's just personal preference the toolbar pop-out time when you click on it when you long press and that whole little toolbar comes out I'll show you in a second okay you have from five seconds all the way to 15 I personally I think I have my other one on 10 or 15 because I just like it open and when I'm done looking at it I would rather close it than it slip away before I'm finished looking at it because it usually takes me a couple seconds to you know look at what I want to do so I just prefer to have it open and close it myself. This toolbar button size, okay. In the beginning, I found the larger they were. For me, it was easier to see and to learn them. But once I've learned, you can turn it down all the way and it will be the smallest it can go. And then of course you have the preview text size, the laser printer size. Okay, and down here at the bottom is something really fun, okay. It's your color palettes that you can, you know, add to, reset. You know, we've talked about that in another video. Then you have your global colors, which is what comes with it. Okay, then you have your screen button colors. And this is where you can experiment with your color schemes if you want, you know, light or dark. And see, it gives you the bar background, the bar buttons, the preview text and the folder background. And I found that, um, I saw someone do this on Facebook and I figured out how to do it to where everything, the background looks the same color and then you just got the buttons around the top and side, but everything, you know, has that same color. I really like that. And so if you need me to do a video on that, um, I can, just let me know. And so you can change colors, click on any one of these and it's the same, you know, way to change colors like it's already in the color palette and don't be afraid to play and have fun because at the bottom where did it go it says reset uh cache you, you can reset you know back to the beginning you won't have really messed up anything i'm sorry it's right down here it says default that's what you click on is where it says default that way you've not you know really messed anything up and so we can see the page bar we've looked at at the side. We see that the tools are smaller and that we've got the toolbar here at the top. Now, um, two other quick things. These toolbar, uh, these tools, they change based upon what you click on. So I'm sorry, if you long press, you'll get this menu on every tool. When you long press, this will come up. So whatever you click and choose to use, that's what's gonna stay there. Okay, so you can, 
long press and I mean if you want certain tools to stay up here at the top you can put them there and that way and just be careful you know not to move them but I mean you can have any of your tools up here at the top or to the side and you can also change the number of tools you have here to the side um, you can change it I think up to like 10 that would go all the way down the side if you if you know you wanted to use them all like that so that's pretty much how I set up my interface and I hope it wasn't too confusing for you because I know when I first watched it at the beginning it was very confusing and it just it takes time to learn but it's so completely worth it so I hope y'all have a good evening and thanks for watching bye